guys, I'm Julian and I am in front of the hospital of uh, Barrio Obrero. Can you see there? Uh, over there. Uh, it's, uh, it's past, a little bit past 5 a.m. now. Uh, It's for clinic analysis, blood test. And for the blood test, you have to come here like uh, at 5 a.m. I didn't want to wake up at 5 a.m. So uh, I asked if, the, if I could go to a private hospital to take the blood test, but uh, I'm not entirely sure, but it seems like yeah, it seems like uh, I can't do the blood test at private hospital. Only a blood test taken at a public hospital is accepted, and maybe there is another hospital that would allow you to take the blood test not at 5 a.m. at for more reasonable hour but I didn't know where that hospital is and this hospital is the one uh, closest from where I where I'm currently staying uh, one thing to one thing to note oh it's noisy Uh, one thing to note is that uh, you cannot just uh, walk in to uh, take the clinical analysis, blood test. You need doctor's order. And I didn't have that. Uh, so, fortunately, fortunately, I was able to get doctor's order on on side uh, here i got uh, i got uh the older it includes hiv test vdrl uh, etc and my number is 17. i have to wait here until until they call the number 17. I thought it's gonna be very dangerous, but it wouldn't be as dangerous as I thought. You could see that there are so many people in line, right? And it's very, it's very uh, bright here, right? And it's a hospital. I don't see any security guards, but there should be. There are many people in line waiting for the clinical analysis so it's not so much dangerous i took an i took uber and it took me like uh three to four dollars for 30 30 minutes ride uh i'll be waiting here until uh, my number is called and i'll see how things go and today uh, in the afternoon at 1 p.m. I have another test and I'll keep you updated with the another test uh, so it's 7 30 in the morning and everything is done no, no. I mean everything by everything I mean the blood test uh, it took me for a while because I need a I needed a consultation with a doctor to go through the to, for the for the AIDS blood test H I H I V uh, I don't remember exactly but that one so I needed a I needed to meet a doctor and that started at 7 a.m. so I had to wait for uh, for an hour or so so. I came here at 5 a.m. 
and it took me two and a half hours to finish the broadcast. And the result will come out uh, tomorrow, 9 a.m. at the laboratory. So I should come back tomorrow. Oh, and I have, I told you that I have another test at 1 p.m. So I don't know what to do for now. Uh, we'll see. So I came to Interpol in Asuncion. Can you see Interpol sign? Interpol for the uh, clean, clean uh, criminal record for international crimes. So I uh, visited Interpol and it took me only like a half an hour, half an hour to one hour. To, to process, to proceed with uh, the application for the background check. And I have to come back here tomorrow, 9 a.m. It's the same with the hospital, uh, hospital uh, appointment for, the, for getting the result. So I think I'll go to the hospital first and I'll come back here next. It's fairly easy. Uh, I could walk to here, to the Interpol from the hospital. And uh, I think I can do that tomorrow as well without Uber. But it's certainly uh, more uh, comfortable, certainly easier if you get on the Uber. Okay. I am here in front of the uh, Ministry of Foreign Affairs in, in Spanish, Spanish. Ministerio de Relaciones Exteriores. I am waiting here for uh, to notarize my visa, a Paraguayan tourist visa. And uh, my birth certificate and my police certificate back in Korea. Those were issued by the Korean government and I need to authenticate, notarize the visa as well. Uh, I'm waiting here in front of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and we'll see how it goes. Uh, by the way, the, the buildings near here are really old. I don't know why they don't uh, fix it. 